Hello guys. Hello, so we are Yes, we've started the adventure. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Um, yeah, so now we're just at Nungwe, Nungwe National Park, so we're about to take a little bit of a hike to get to the canopy walk, which is going to be fun. Oh, loving this. Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful out here, guys. What? Mm, it's really beautiful, but the weather has changed in like a second. <laughs> it was nice and sunny. Looks like it's gonna rain! <laughs> We are at Lake Kivu, oh my days, this hotel is so stunning. So this morning is 8 o'clock and I'm telling you guys, the view I'm looking at right now, the view I'm looking at right now is beautiful, oh my god. So you can actually see Lake Kivu, you can see Lake Kivu and then you can also see across is Congo, can you imagine? So that's actually Congo I'm looking at right now, which is, hmm, interesting. <laughs> the room is also really cute, I was hoping we would stay a bit longer, but it's fine, we're leaving to Lake Kivu to actual boat ride today. So I've packed a change of outfits for the trip, for the boat. This is what I'm wearing for now. Oh, excuse me. These are like shorts. Yeah, and I'm gonna wear sneakers and a jacket over this. We're in the middle of tea and we're just about to start our trek heading to the waterfall. So yeah, we missed the chimpanzee this morning because guys, no one was gonna wake up. Seriously, like people were so tired. So this is our first activity. Hey? So we just made a stop off at this area, which is where they do the gorilla naming every year. From three and a half up to six. We're here for fashion week, not. <laughs> yeah, no, let, 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 we are weekend. Let, we're, 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 you know, I'm dying. <laughs> right, let's go. So Why we literally we're not prepared for this, but it's fine. We're we are managing. <laughs> I 
having a good time. <laughs> uh, tough skin. They are born in this. Mm. They get accustomed. Okay. So they are familiar with any obstacle we are encountering. Okay. It's important okay. to wear masks to protect yes. the primates and to protect okay. ourselves. Yes. <laughs> We're getting pretty close. All day. experience oh my gosh how amazing was that honestly I loved it I absolutely loved it oh, so you can see how close we are to the community literally it's like the people live here and cohabit with these uh... actually you know we've seen the demarcation here yeah, to the park so they don't get to go up but <laughs> they're pretty pretty close to the park very close so that's how this tourism supports the community and helps them to just like grow yeah absolutely love that A nice hot shower. Oh, this is a nice what? Oh my god, I'm already clean, but because I carried things to change, but ain't no harm in getting fresher, fresher than ever. Okay, let's see. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. That was very, very lovely. Had a great time. Visit Rwanda, you guys are very hospitable, so thanks. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Another day, another vlog. I'm still in Kigali. So last week was amazing because we actually went to see the gorillas. Oh, you guys, I love that so, so much. If you haven't watched that vlog, please do. Please do so. Today, what we're doing, I'm with Steve Nduku. If you guys know him on YouTube, he's huge. He has really nice travel content and um, kind of like real estate content. So we're doing a collaboration where we're trying to see if we can spend $100 in 24 hours and get to do everything you can do in Kigali, basically. So we want to see how expensive it is to like explore, to eat, to just like move around the city. So that's what we're doing today. We're at Nyandungu Park right now. I took a boda boda here, guys. <laughs> Let me tell you, my heart was in my, literally my mouth. I was just like, yo, I'm about to fall off this thing. But here, people are very safe and the roads are organized. So it's not as bad as Kenya. But yeah, it's been fun so far. The boys over there. So I can't wait to show you guys. This is going to be like a BTS vlog. The main vlog is going to be up on his channel. But I'll direct you guys to that <laughs> once it's up. Anyway, yes, fun times. Basically, to rent a bicycle or like a scooter, which is like an electric scooter in here. Yeah. You only pay like... 2500 in Rwandan francs if you put in dollars it's like maybe two dollars over there where you see like all these uh, green trees there's a road that is passing through over there it's really beautiful and I think we can just get a scooter and then we pass through it another helmet oh guys it's messing up my hair <laughs> But this one is for front, but the good one is that one. This one? For starting, put your light leg, push. Alright. Ah, wait, I come out of this place. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Steve, you're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's slow. <laughs> So basically now we are doing a U-turn, there's a phase one and there's a phase two. So this is the phase one, that's the phase two. Total is like 10 kilometers. Mostly people do come in here to run, like run, cycling, bird watching, and then maybe there's an electric, electric scooter. You can even come in here with your friends or your family and then enjoy. All right, so if you guys find yourself here, these are the number of things you can do. Walkway, bicycle, no? Yeah. 
So if you, if you guys find yourself here, these are the number of things you can do if you have a lot of time on your hands. You can try all of them. But I think what are we what else are we gonna do here? We so. need to go bird watching. Did you you need to do any medicine or garden the garden What did you call it? Medicinal garden. Is it free? Yes, it's a place where you can go if you want to learn a lot of like traditional no. medicine. Mitishamba, we call it in Swahili. Do you want to learn that? No? Um, I would be, but you not really see. today. Do you think this was uh, two dollars well spent? I think so, actually. That was such a good experience, you know. For just two dollars. For just two dollars, and okay. it's taken how long? Like 30, 40 minutes. Yeah. You can kill time. It's really nice. And because we are like we're trying to rush, so we'd have spent like the whole day yeah. if, if we're just visiting. You can actually come and sit and yeah, enjoy the birds. There's a lot more things you can do, but we have to leave, so we. We'll experience some other things but yes. yeah two dollars well spent like four dollars for both of us Cha-ching! how much do we have left <laughs> i don't know i have to check my wallet <laughs> okay so basically this is kimirongo market yeah probably the best like uh, popular local market in here yeah a lot of people come in here uh, just to buy food it's like mostly food market and then arts and craft so popular because you can get any food that you want. Any food any, at all? Yeah, any food, like any, especially fruits and vegetables, they are everywhere. Can I ask something? Yes. <laughs> How is the security in a market like this? Because I know Rwanda is very safe. Like yeah. you walk the streets, you have no worries. So it's almost the same thing the market. Yeah. Uh, it's so safe, there's nobody who can come and snatch your phone or anything. Really? Because you are not going to <laughs> no see any security. No camera will be inside. stolen. Huh? <laughs> no, no, you are safe. <laughs> so all right. we're good. So yeah. what are we here to buy then? So what can we get? Axe and craft? Axe and craft uh, yeah, Axe and craft or some vegetables or fruits. Alright, sorry, do you wanna do you wanna get some fruits? Um I wouldn't mind like a pineapple or something. Alright, let's get it. So what you are going to do is this. You are going to pay a thousand two hundred and then they will even remove the, everything and they, they will peel it for us and then you can even eat it straight. All right, that's fine. Okay. Mm. Bring it on, bring it on. Welcome to Rwanda. Welcome to Rwanda. All right, so the reason we actually got to the market is so we, we get to experience, like we get to see how the local people like, yeah. you know, shop, leave yeah. and stuff like it's that. It's actually so, like you can get second-hand things, you can get fruits, you can get artifacts, there's like stuff to buy. So you can skip this if you're not into that, but uh, we just wanted to soak in the experience yeah. and, you know, see what it is like. Yeah. Bye. Do we have enough money for me to buy? You have just a hundred dollars now, you're in a... How much? How much is that? Sixty thousand. Sixty thousand. Let's leave this shop. This shop doesn't belong to us right now. <laughs> Are you hungry? I'm so hungry. Small one to very nice. <laughs> yeah. Let's do Java. Yeah, let's yeah. do, let's we'll do Java. We'll sacrifice some. Uh, yeah. But I mean, how much can we spend at most? Like, yeah. ten dollars. Ten dollars. Yeah. yeah. So I should say like in Kigali food is like relatively affordable, not that cheap like the way maybe some people might think and then, then not that expensive. So it's like in the middle, maybe relatively affordable. Guys, we've had so much fun exploring Kigali, even the market, imagine like the fruits, so fresh, but I'm not sure about the cleanliness, I was a bit worried. <laughs> I'm just eating like, eh. anyway, so we stopped for lunch because we we're dying of hunger, then we're heading to the market, where are we heading? Yeah, we're from here. Some Aston Craft Market and then go to a recreation we're going to park. yeah recreational park. It's called Fazenda, so we're going to zip line in a dress. <laughs> and then after that we're going to Eagle View to check out the views and then we're gonna go to the food market if we have time also. Free activity to do, look for dancers and dance with them. <laughs> it's free, you don't have to pay. Somewhere in town, we want to get some art and crafts, and just some takeaway. Hey, remember, you're on a budget. <laughs> eh? Yo, this budget thing, man. <laughs> <laughs> but this is nice. Like, like it's actually nice. So we 
we finally decided to pick two yeah, for so nice. 13,000. Oh no, 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 don't say that price. 13,000. 15,000. Okay, 15. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Last price is 15,000. Okay, so we're going to, uh, we decided to pick, I decided to pick this color. She wants to pick this color yeah. for 15, which is going to be 30,000 yeah. and $30 thereabouts. It's going to eat into the budget we have. So what we're going to do is we're going to play rock paper scissors <laughs> anybody that wins we buy let's for that person and then the other one just let's go let's yeah. do it i'm ready okay let's you go you don't even like this color you said you like no black. i like i like this color it's really nice but i'm a black more of a black person okay, fine, right let's do it so wait okay all right are you ready yes are you ready yeah wait all right let's go rock paper scissors <laughs> No, I didn't cheat. Okay, do You're it again. Cheating. Okay, do it again, do okay, it again. Do it again okay, then okay. if he's cheating. Rock, paper, scissors. Ah! <laughs> no, it's a master of three. You can't. We have to do three. Three times. <laughs> yeah. You've lost twice. She's no. lost twice. No, lost. I want this one. You want this one? Yeah. Okay, wait. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> okay. okay. Continue. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> So I'm gonna buy it. Oh, gonna that's go sucks. Next, next time you come to Rwanda, you can buy it. Oh, man, that's unfortunate, guys. Because oh. <laughs> I feel like I'd rock it more, but it's nah, okay. Nah, nah. Funny, I just learned how to play this game like two <laughs> minutes ago. <laughs> so, what do you think about Rwanda so far? It's nice. I mean, it's just so easy for to move around. Like you don't feel unsafe. Yeah. You can just walk. It's very nice. I like it. Organized. No stress. No wahala. So, what's what's the one thing you don't like? The one thing I don't like that it's yeah. raining all the time. Cause you came at the wrong time now. That <laughs> the weather is like, listen. <laughs> that's not that's not the country's fault. Okay, true. Yeah, you came at um, the wrong time. Something I don't like, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Really, nothing. To nothing, be right? I'm really not thought of anything. Yeah, but so far out of the things we've done, would you would you say it's affordable to you know be a tourist here in Kigali, especially? Um, it's fairly. It's more. It's not too pricey. Yeah. Like outrageous but it's also not cheap so <laughs> <laughs> but i yeah. mean we've we've had so much fun we, we have and we haven't even minimum. exhausted our yeah. budget so yeah we still have a lot more left so yeah. let's see we are uh next though what's this area called i see there's no there's no um bikes yeah there are no uh what's it called so this place is called imbuga city walk yeah like it used to be a former country zone it's a former country zone it's a place where like it's pedestrian area Oh, only no any only car one that is allowed to just, be. Just bicycles. Yeah, just bicycles. You want popcorn? Ah oh, yes. Yeah, skater. Hey, this girl will finish our money. <laughs> huh? She she wants everything. I want popcorn. How much popcorn? How much Can for popcorn? Can you see how they put the flavors? Onions and wow. How much for it? This is one five thousand. This is one thousand. I want this yeah. one fresh. I give you one thousand for you. Wow, those are nice. Mm -mm. Those are really good. Mm, a bit salty. Mm. Hey guys, so I had a change. Um, I've changed my outfit because we come, we've come zip lining. So we are basically at this place called Fazenda. It's like a recreational center. Donkey rides for kids, horse riding for adults, trail rides, zip lining, archery, bungee, trampoline, that's for kiddos, a guided hike, paintball, quad bikes. So that's like a lot of stuff to do and it's affordable genuinely. It's like 15,000 is like what, 15 dollars? So it's not that bad to be honest. So very interesting stuff. Us guys are doing the zip lining and the archery. Honestly, first time ever. That was a bit scary. This is your first time zipline? Imagine, planning. ever. Oh my yeah, imagine. It's my first time. A bit scary, but not too bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, for me, I mean, you guys know I've done way more scary, like zipline. This was like basic, huh? Yeah, it's very basic. But, I mean, you, you still have that Thrill. adrenaline, like, yeah. you know, rush. But it's still good uh, and it's cheap, affordable. Yeah. If you're here, you can come check it out. So, That's now nice. we're going to do. Should we get some. Do we have any money for like a fruit? Because, like, I'm a bit no. hungry. No, no money. There's a restaurant and I'm like, huh? Just no money. No money. We have money budgeted for something else. So so now what are we going to do? A tree. Okay. Oh, it's my friend. No, I've 
Never he feels the, the enemy. So I'll shoot been, him to the bush to show you that. It's black, car. blue, red, <laughs> yellow. Whatever. Winner, you know what I'm saying? Peace. There's no winner. There I'm the winner. winner. Wow. Wow, look oh at this. Gosh, this is so nice. This is why we got into a bike and we went <laughs> up and down up and, and down up 20, and down to minutes. get here. Yeah, it's worth it though. What? Wow, you said you had experienced yeah, something so. here before. Yeah, when I came here the last time, it was literally a proposal. Imagine. Oh my God, now I can imagine how that looks. Like I you know. have like a very nice setup right setup here. here. Actually, with, like roses. Like flowers, yeah. Round. And carpet. this view. I'm not sure if the sun <laughs> set here. I don't know. I can't remember. I can't tell. Came at night, yeah. Yeah, but, but it's like we can see the convention center. Like yeah. this is like uh, would I say a half view of the entire Kigali? <laughs> it's right I think here. It's mostly the main city. Yeah, yeah so, so like that, that's you're just right there. So, guys, this place is called um, Eagle View. Eagle View. Mm -hmm. So, they also have like a restaurant as well. Yeah, you can Are eat. we going to go get something? I, I don't know how so. much. I need a coffee. Guys. I don't know how much we have, but I think we can afford a coffee. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Um, so, this place, uh, they're doing some innovation. So, maybe by the time you come here, yeah. it's ready to take in yeah. guests. But the, but the restaurant itself is really pretty it's as well. We'll right? show you. So, yeah, let's go eat. Let's go. Do we have enough money to eat? No, we'll I think just so. have some coffee. I think so. <laughs> but, guys, look at this. This place, like, they were like new, brand new. Like, a lot of people think that ah, this is a cheap area to come and stuff like that. Yeah. And then later on, the government did, they started even bringing all these big people to just come and then have food on the street, maybe sit down with the community, talk, talk, talk with them, something like that. And then they even decided to bring like Miss Rwanda, bring them over here, sit down, eat chapati, take tea, and stuff like that. Uh, having a like so they can sit down with them maybe the other community who are living in here and stuff like that mm -hmm. then the people started feeling comfortable coming here now if you come in here every single day whether it's monday or tuesday it's full every single night is full because food is great and also it's affordable guys come and look at this yummy <laughs> my mouth is watering <laughs> Woo, i offer my my sacrifice <laughs> Yeah. yeah, the pilau is nonsense. So we're having chicken pilau, which is very nice. You like it, right? Mm -hmm. Is it good? Mm, coming from Kenya, I feel like the pilau there is unmatched, but this is okay. It's okay. But it's a lot for cheap. So if you're in Kigali, around this town at night, mm -hmm. You should come right here. Yeah. There's a lot of things to eat and a lot of people. The only thing missing out here is music. And vibes. Woo! Yeah. People dancing. <laughs> that would be nice. Alright, this very nice dinner cost us about $10, which is, it was a lot. Yeah, that was so much food actually. I was like, whoa, we have to do a takeaway bag. Imagine. Guys, in Ooh. under like eight, ten hours, we've done a lot. We've had so much fun. We've yes, eaten. Yes. I think we're not like going to like very expensive places. <laughs> yeah. We're going to normal places where normal local people eat. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you want to, I mean, I think that's what traveling is all about. Yeah, like mean, when you get to experience the local people, yeah, you speak to them. Yeah, the city, get into the heart of the city, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that was really nice. So, I mean, we got, we got to live like locals, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Uh, which is very interesting. So this marks the end of the video. I don't exactly know how much is left but i know it's going to be less with like a little maybe like I mean, five yeah, dollars but we've stayed under i'll do the calculation right here you're going yeah. to see this is how much we've spent yeah uh but just to give you an idea it's kigali is very expensive it's very it's mid expensive it's, it's mid expensive not, yeah. it just depends on your lifestyle and yeah. how you want to move around yeah, yeah. normally i know you're not going to use the the, the bikes right i mean not you really cars, cars, but, cars, uh, yeah, yeah. for me i like it it's nice the experience is i get fresh air yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so guys. <laughs> yeah, you can take this. Wait, do you wanna do it again? No, no, it's fine. Keep rolling, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, keep rolling. Yeah, yeah, I think that's that's that. This marks the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for watching. The next video will probably be in Qatar. Subscribe to her channel. I'm gonna link it there for you and yep. her Instagram as well. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Bye.